he said, Jerry, uh, you still want my boy? That's what he called Elvis, yeah. my boy. And I said, yes, I do. And he said, will you show up here in Las Vegas at uh, noon on Wednesday, this was like a Monday, and bring a million dollars, and we'll make a contract. Now I said, okay, I'll be there. Now I hung that phone <laughs> up. I didn't have 25 cents, let alone a million dollars of my own. So it was a little tough, you know, and, and yeah. I, I had met a lot of people who slapped me on the back when I was a kid in New York, and they said, you know, if you ever need anything, kid, we know you're gonna make it, so just let us know, give us a call. So I got on the telephone and started calling people, left, right, and center, and trying to get this million bucks to, to bring Elvis Presley. And I couldn't raise it. I just couldn't raise it. And I got out to, I got on a plane, went to Las Vegas, and I sat in Las Vegas uh, all night on the telephone, calling people. And I got to an attorney in New York who got me to a fella in Seattle, Washington, who I didn't know, had never met. And this fellow was an Elvis Presley maniac. And I, he was a businessman. And I said, I need a million dollars, and I'm going to have a concert tour with Elvis Presley, and blah, 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 blah. And to make a long story short, the next day, he wired me a million dollars without a contract, just on a verbal deal on the telephone. This man wired me a million dollars. I went to the bank in Las Vegas to pick the million dollars up. I had to have it by noon. It wasn't there. And I called Tom Parker and I said, Colonel, can you give me another couple of hours? He said, sure. And I, I waited another couple of hours and I, uh, the bank manager came out, the president of the bank, he was about 20 years old, and the bank had a crown in front of it. I'll forget, it was Las Vegas, a purple crown, purple and gold crown, downtown Las Vegas. And he uh, came out and he said to me, excuse me, uh, you, you're Jerry Weintraub? And I said, yes. And at that time I had long hair and uh, lizard belt and jeans and uh, boots and all that stuff. And he said, come on in here. He said, I have a check here for you made out to Elvis Presley, cashier's check for a million dollars. He said, can I, can I uh, see some identification? I showed him my driver's license. And he gave me the, handed me the check and he said to me, now, what are you going to do with this money? He said, I said, I'm going to take Elvis Presley on tour. And he said, well, could you use an accountant? I'd go, like to go with you. This was the president <laughs> of the bank. Anyway, I got that million dollars, and I went over to see Colonel Parker. Now, I had no contract. I had no idea what the deal was. I just knew that I was going to be in business with Elvis Presley. And I didn't know what to ask for, and he didn't know what to ask me for, because there was no such thing as concerts in arenas in those days, in, in stadiums. I did the first concerts in, in uh, basketball right. arenas. So he kept that million dollars in the drawer, took me up to Elvis's room, knocked on the door, and he said, Elvis, I want you to meet Mr. Weintraub. He's your promoter. Just gave me a million dollars for you. <laughs> and Elvis probably said, thank you, sir. Thank you very, very much. And three weeks later, I was a millionaire after the tour. I became a millionaire. And I was standing backstage in San Diego, California, which was the, the last day of the tour. And I was dreaming. You know, I was standing there knowing my life had completely changed. My, my life was never going to be the same again. It was going to be a completely different life. And in came Colonel Parker holding two suitcases. And I, I had already made over a million dollars on this, on this three-week tour. And he said to me, let's go into this room over here. He said, I, I, want, I have something for you. And we went into a room on the side, an electrician's room. He said, close that door. And I closed the door. He said, open those suitcases. I opened the suitcases, and they were full of money, cash. Yeah. And he said, pile that money up. I said, what is this money? I had never seen that much money in my life. He said, I said, where's that money from? He said, just pile it up. I piled it up. And he said, that's the money from the T-shirts and the keychains and the scarves and everything else we've sold at the shows, the hats. And I said, well, I wasn't involved with that. I said, we were partners on the show. We started as 50-50 partners, Elvis and the colonel got 50%, and I got 50%. That's how we started. Because we didn't, in those days, there was no, there was no 
right. c- kind of deal. You just made the deal. And we piled that money up on the table, and he took his cane, and he whacked that money in he half, half, and he said, that's yours, that's mine, is that fair? And I said, you got a deal. 